Hey everybody and welcome back to my comic drawing sessions where we learn comic drawing techniques. My name is Samantha and I'm a youth librarian at the Kansas City Public Library. I also happen to be an illustrator and have been drawing comics my whole life. So I kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, if you would like to see other videos I've made where I show basic drawing fundamentals, you can go back to our channel and subscribe and see some of the other videos that I've made. Um, remember that we are doing three different theme sessions on this channel. Uh, we have my comic drawing sessions. We have our youth librarian, Jamie, she's doing storytelling. And then our youth librarian, Kaisha, who's doing STEAM. So make sure you uh, check those out. There should be playlists being built around those. Um, so the way these sessions work is I talk about a comic related cool thing, do a drawing demonstration that teaches some sort of comic technique, and then I leave you with a, a take home project that you can work on after the video is over. I also will include in the description down below some sort of a link or a list of books or material that will help you in your comic drawing endeavors while you're stuck at home. So let's get started. So today we're going to talk about style. And I'm not talking about like the clothes you wear, I'm talking about the way that you draw. So when you first start drawing, you might feel some pressure to have a style or a special way of drawing. And um, I'm here to tell you that you don't need to have that. Um, some draws have very recognizable styles where you look at it and you automatically notice what it looks like. Think like Adventure Time or Steven Universe. Those TV shows have very, very specific styles built around one artist's drawing style. Um, Whereas other artists, when they draw, they can kind of make their art blend in different ways. They're like artist chameleons. Um, artists can spend years trying to find their style. And part of that process is drawing in lots of different ways until you find out what feels best and most natural to you. Um, many artists also start out by mimicking other artists that they admire. For instance, as a young artist, I like to mimic the drawings that I saw in Adventure Time and Calvin and Hobbes. Now, those drawings don't look anything like what I draw now today, but they definitely influenced the way I learned how to draw and influenced some of the things that I like to draw now. Um, in comic drawing, a big part of drawing style is how the artist draws eyes. So that's a big thing. You'll notice in certain shows, there's a very specific way of drawing the eyes on the characters. Um, and some artists can spend a long time trying to develop how they draw eyes. Uh, there are a million different eye styles, and we're going to draw and learn a few different ones today. I'm not going to do anything too complicated, such as if you know anything about like anime or manga, those um, eye styles can be very complicated and hard to draw. You're welcome to try those out on your own, but I'm not going to teach you how to draw those today. I honestly can't draw them myself. I'm not good at that. Um, but we're just going to draw some simple eyes today. So go ahead and get out your piece of paper and your pencil or pen or whatever you have to draw with. And remember that I use two different types of markers. I have my blue marker, which means that you either can use your own blue colored pencil or marker, or if you don't have one, you can draw very lightly. I also have my black marker, which is the finished final lines. And so we're not really gonna be doing anything too complicated today. I don't think I'll really need to use my blue marker today. Um, so go ahead and pull out your pencil and let's get started. So just like we did in our first few lessons, we're gonna um, create kind of a layout of different things so that later you can go back and reference this piece of paper when you're drawing your own characters. So let's cut our page in half, just like that. And then we're gonna cut our page in half again. Okay, and then we're gonna cut each of these sections in half. So you should have eight different sections on your piece of paper, and uh, this is where we're gonna draw eight different eye styles. So the first one we're gonna do is just simple circle eyes. This is how I draw my eyes. Depending on how old or young the character is, I'll make them bigger or smaller on the face, because as you know, babies and little kids, um, their eyes take up more room on their head, whereas when you become an adult, your head gets bigger and your eyes stay about the same size, so they look smaller. So just two circles. And I'm going to make all of them looking the same direction so you can kind of see. And then you fill in the pupil. And just for reference, when I talk about eyes, I refer to the middle of the eye or like the, the black and color part of the eye 
as the pupil. A lot of times when you're drawing cartoon eyes, you don't draw, because as you can see, like on my eye, the pupil is the black part, and then there's the color part around it. You can draw the color part around the eye. I don't, but go ahead and try and see how it works. I'm not gonna teach that today's lesson because I don't require you to have color pencils with you or anything like that, but you can definitely try it if you have them at home. So this is just a simple eye. So we're gonna make each of these characters smiling, just so you can get a, a sense of how drawing them in different styles creates different, um, basically different like feelings. So now we're gonna do the same, so this is bi the big pupils. So now we're gonna do the same circle eyes but with smaller pupils. Some cartoons, they have huge pupils. I mean, they take up a huge part of the eye. Like, you can even take up more. And then some may have smaller pupils. So as long as you keep it the same in either one, it shouldn't make it look surprised or anything. So let's see. So as you can see, these look kind of cutesier. This looks some a little more like a, a little more grown up comic. So the styles can definitely affect too um, how like cutesy or mature your comic looks. So keep that in mind. So the next we're gonna do, this is a really popular one, at least it was a while ago, and that's like little dot eyes, um, which uh, me growing up, I drew Adventure Time and Calvin and Hobbes a lot. So I drew a lot of dot eyes, so. Those are super easy to draw, especially if you're drawing really quickly. Dot eyes can just make it a really fast process. The only downside of dot eyes is I feel like you get less expressions with dot eyes because you can't make the eyes look as different. Um, also, a trick with dot eyes is if the closer you draw them or the further apart you draw them can affect the character. I find that the wider the eyes are, so the further apart the dots are, can make the character look younger and like more like little kitty cute. Okay, so the next one we're gonna draw is what I call Mickey Mouse eyes because um, it definitely reminds me of like the really old fashioned American cartoons of like the early, early, like, like 1900s. And that's, uh, you're gonna draw a circle in a circle. And then you're gonna draw a circle inside just like this. And then what makes these look different is you draw a triangle in like this. And then you're gonna fill in the space all around the triangles. As you can see that while the same size, these look a little different. There's something different about the way this style makes the cartoon feel. Um, this definitely has like a vintage retro look. So if you're trying to make a character look like an old fashioned cartoon, this definitely helps you with that. Okay, the next one we're gonna draw are what I call sparkle eyes because it looks like the eyes are sparkling. And this is a, a good one for if you're drawing like, uh, I think if you know what the neon cat is, he's like a little kitty character flying through space, he has sparkle eyes. Or like if you're drawing like a unicorn with rainbows coming out of its ears, sparkle eyes, you know? This is gonna make the character look overly just cute and sparkly and happy. So we'll draw two circles. And pupil. And then you're gonna draw a big circle here and then a smaller circle here. And then you're gonna color in around those little circles. Fill it in. like the, all the other faces, we're just going to make it into a smiley face. The reason I did a smiley face on each one is because I thought then if we did the same expression, you would really get a better sense of how the eyes change everything because it's the same on each one. The only difference is the eyes. Okay, well, the next one we're going to draw is something that I think makes a cartoon look a little less kiddish and more adultish, and that's instead of drawing circle eyes, drawing more oval eyes. So this can also make it look more realistic. So I'll show you how to do that. So instead of drawing a big wide circle, you're gonna draw an oval. 
like an, like, like an egg on its side. And then another oval. Just like the other ones, you're going to draw in pupils. And eyebrows. And smiling face. It definitely doesn't look as like little kitty as this. So if you want to make a character look older too, like the actual characters age older, it might help to draw their eyes a little bit smaller, maybe a little more oval, not as wide. And the little next one I'm going to show you is, I want to make sure this is fitting in the camera. Okay, let me angle it down just a little. There we go. The next one I'm going to show you is, I don't really have a name for these eyes, so I'm just going to draw them. I guess you could call them like half eyes. So I'm going to draw two lines like this, okay? And then you're going to draw a circle like this and just fill in the lines. There's another eye style. And then the last one we're going to draw is eyes that are wearing glasses because I know that's not like a specific style, it's more of an accessory. Drawing eyeballs inside glasses can also uh, really attribute to your style. So we're going to draw two circle glasses like this, draw two circles. And then if you connect them, and then the pupil can be any one of these that you want. Um, a good trick is if you draw the pupils really small, you can point them in any direction inside the glasses. Um, but you can pick any one of these types of pupils to draw inside this. I'm going to draw just like that. Okay. So that is just a of a ton of different styles. You could even probably invent your own. Um, artists will draw eyes in lots and lots of different ways. So sometimes you might feel pressure to choose an eye style and stick with it no matter what. Like if you choose dots, every character you draw is going to have dot eyes no matter what. Um, but I really think it's best to draw eyes for the character, not for the story, if that makes sense. So instead of choosing one type of eye and drawing every single character like that in your story, um, I think it's best to pick eyes that fit the character. Um, so knowing the character's personality, knowing um, how they talk, how they act, you might pick different eyes. So like maybe this is the calm uh, leader of the group because they don't seem overly excited. They seem like they're more like keeping an eye out on things. Maybe this is a little kid who keeps licking things on the floor and so they have these big wide eyes and they're kind of kind of wacko. So it's just, it really depends on your character. And I think that that's the most important about picking styles is drawing the best style to fit your story. Because really when you're making comics, it's more about storytelling than it is about drawing style. At least that's how I feel. Um, with that said, your takeaway project is to choose one of these eye styles and to design your own character around it. Or if you can't think of your own character, you can go back to the character generator I created for the last video about character design, which I included in the link below again. You can use that generator and then get a random character and based on whatever character you get, you can um, pick eyes to fit. So let's say like earlier I said, like imagine a rainbow unicorn with like wings and a halo. Like you might wanna make, give it sparkle eyes because I feel like that really adds to the character. Or if you get an ice cream cone with wings, like I think dot eyes work really well with a character that's not actually a living thing. So if you wanna make like a cloud a character or a tree a character, dot eyes are so cute on inanimate objects or like not living things. I think they're really adorable. So it's really just about the kind of, of story you want to tell. Um, for more examples of different eye character eye styles on characters, there's also um, a link in the description down below of a list of different books with lots of different styles. So if you're reading a comic book, start paying attention to how the artist draws the eyes. And um, if they use different eye styles for different characters and start to ask, I wonder why they chose to do that, because usually an artist chooses that for a reason. They don't just do it because it's an accident. Um, remember that you can always tag the library on social media if you have a drawing that you want your grown-up to post for you, um, or if you're a grown-up yourself and you have your own social media. Um, you can tag us on 
Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook with the same handle, at KC Library. So um, if you tag us on that, we would love to see your artwork that you create. Thank you all for tuning in. Um, I hope that you learned something about making comics. And remember to subscribe to this channel because every week we will be posting more elementary aged uh, kid activities, steam, storytelling, and comic making. And then I'll be here every Wednesday at 1. So thank you so much and bye-bye.